Hi, Robin from Rainbow Gardens here. I have some caterpillars and plants. So caterpillars are in, in enclosures. And I just wanted to show you a few of the caterpillars that are very easy to raise at home. So first we're gonna start with the pipe vine. So this is a pipe vine. This is not a native pipe vine. We had maybe 10 native pipe vines come in this year. They're kind of hard to find, but we do have, um, this pipe vine that is very well adapted. And as you can see, the caterpillars love it. These are pipe vine caterpillars. They are on their host plant, which is the only plant that they can eat. This is the passion vine. And Gulf fritillaries will host on passion vine, also variegated fritillaries. I don't have any variegated here right now, but this is the Gulf fritillary and they love passion vine. So next we have the black swallowtail caterpillar. They like to lay, the, the adult females will lay eggs on parsley, dill, fennel, and rue. So we've got a rue plant here. This is a little baby. It's probably already gone through its first instar, and instar is when they shed their skin. They also eat their skin that they had just shed because it's full of nutrients. This guy's a little bit older. And then next we've got this guy. He is really dark, but he is not as old as this guy. He's gonna make his chrysalis soon. So look very carefully at your herbs, your parsley, dill, fennel, and rue, because you could have some black swallowtail caterpillars. So lastly, I have two queen caterpillars. Actually, this guy made a chrysalis already. The chrysalis the queen makes looks just like the monarchs. Uh, and the queens actually look a lot like monarchs. Their caterpillars don't a whole lot. They have three sets of antenna, whereas the monarch only has two. But the adult caterpillar, the adult butterfly looks a lot like the monarchs. They are definitely monarch lookalikes. And they also eat milkweed exclusively, just like the monarchs. So again, one thing to remember if you're wanting to raise caterpillars is you have to have their host food. It is so sad when someone will come into the nursery with some type of caterpillar they don't know, they've just picked up somewhere and then they've thrown grass or leaves in there and they're like, what is this? And it's like that you don't even know what that is. You have to know what it needs to eat or it can't live. So we really wanna encourage people to have these experiences. So please come see us. We are happy to recommend plants for you and help you get your pollinator garden started. Thanks so much for watching.